Uh, the game that I chose to design, uh, I named it X Society Parabellum. Um, I came up with the design for this game by, I based it off of a socialization game concept. Um, I wanted to create a game that had a concept in it beyond a, beyond a point system, uh, you know, in game pieces and pawns. I wanted to make it social. Um, I chose the game design to try to incorporate the fun element or within the fun element paradox of control uh, space in terms of the guessing and psychological component of uh, two people interacting in the socialization game. Um, I wanted to incorporate a system where players can lie and omit information to create the fun component within the game versus just a strict point system or scale. Um, I decided on the storyline by using a process of elimination. Uh, I originally had five main ideas. The first one was a John Wick concept. Uh, that's where the Parabellum comes from. Then I had a RPG game idea that involved like magic and spells and whatnot. Um, a third idea was more of a physical game um, with a rubber band and a Chinese football. And then the last um, concept or fourth design idea was the guessing game element. So I decided to merge the John Wick concept with the guessing uh, game element. So the storyline revolves around, was influenced by obviously the movie John Wick um, in terms of the assassination, the assassination society element. I chose to use the concept of a lone assassin with an MO as the premise and having to figure out uh, five assassination uh, MO or modus of operandi throughout the game for the socialization aspect. Um, in terms of coming up with the names for the assassins, I use biblical demons and angels. Um, in terms to formulate, you know, realistic scenarios through the assassination plots, um, I used geographical locations that were all relative and could be generalized um, or general to then lessen through deduction to make the guessing component. Uh, like, for example, a player would ask, you know, was a sharp object used? And I used uh, different sharp objects to then eliminate on the board. So in terms of changes that I incorporated from the feedback, uh, in terms of the feedback, I received that there was um, some player people enjoyed the lying component. Some people did not like lying in a game. Some people wanted there to be a point system. Others didn't like the point system idea. So I ended up changing the lie allotment uh, time or amount throughout the game from three. Then I upped it to five. And then I just eventually made it to where the players in the beginning of the game can decide whether they want to implement the lying component or not. Um, I decided to incorporate a dial that players spin to decide the number of questions uh, to ask versus in the beginning, the question number was determined by rolling a dice. I left the concept of choosing a random card out of a deck of the assassins intact and in place. Um, I was going to also incorporate in the beginning uh, choosing, you know, the autonomy of the player to choose five different societies of assassins, but... I then took that out as well because I would have to have made five different structures um, and it would have made it much more complex to uh, execute. So in terms of the playtesting process, um, it went from something that was very complex to basically simplifying it throughout the game to lessen you know, confusion. Um, I also took out the random number generator concept that I was going to use and I then, like I said, replaced it with the uh, spin dial. Um, also to lessen the confusion based on the playtest feedback I got, I removed the fifth MO component of the assa uh, Assassin's Accomplice to a DNA strand guessing component through making it a, uh, one of two options that would land when they roll, roll the dice. So the game contents include one spinner, two sets of 24 location, reasons, weapons, two DNA strand lists, um, and two sets of 24 assassination cards. The objective or object of the game is for a player to guess the uh, five MO components and re achieve five tokens. Um, each player must choose their MO at the starting of the game, one weapon, location, time, and then DNA strand. Um, the youngest player goes first, spins the spinner, and then asks one, two, three, or four questions. And if the uh, roll symbol is roll on for uh, skull and crossbones, the player's turn is skipped. If the DNA strand is rolled, then the player can guess one of 24 DNA strands. Um, so I made the interchangeable fifth component, DNA versus accomplice. 
And yeah, it's basically just a uh, guessing game in terms of an exchange of information through process of elimination or removing one of 24, um, like I was saying, MO or guessing cards. This is the Pentagon-shaped uh, MO card that I used. Um, I used a purple assassin on it for the theme there. Uh, here's the assassin cards with the assassin's names. And in the top is their specific DNA strand. I used a red assassin logo on the back. Um, red was kind of the main theme uh, color component. And then this is the dial that the player spins. So as you can see, there's one, two, three, or four. And then the roll and the list of DNA strands. It's a 24 uh, CTGA combinations. And then there's the dice with the skull and crossbones and the DNA strand. Yeah, so I had a, a lot of fun with the project. I think overall in terms of um, the feedback was I learned a lot and I uh, learned a lot from this assignment. Thank you.